bundled up. Brisket's bundled up. I guess. You got your safety vest on too, buddy? Just in case you run away? You ready to go? <laughs> Why are you giving me this look? You ready? I know it's cold. All right, guys, this is the current situation here. Oh, hold on. Gloomy and That's disgusting. Music in the background. That's right. <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta go walk brisket because apparently he doesn't wanna <laughs> Do I look Oh shit Where's uh There we go Oh Been having a stressful morning too had a couple phone calls couple crazy texts You know when you live in Rhode Island Nothing, uh, nothing's easy. Put your sunglasses on, it'll make the outfit. What would it make me look like? What are you I trying mean, to make me look like? I'm not allowed to say certain jokes because they're, you know, interpreted in certain ways. Oh. I love this inception room. Or room. Elevator. Alright, you ready to freeze our tukas yourself? See, told you. That little hesitation. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy, come on. Oh, there's a little patch of grass over here. Let's go over here. Look at this. We got some fresh grass over here. Some Canadian, Canadian parents didn't pick up the poop. They must be from the States. Because people in the States, man, I don't know what it is with not picking up dog poop. They just hate it. It's like, you got to be a good parent. Oh, he's peeing. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Briska. Ooh, what do we think of that, huh, baby boy? Yeah, it's cold out there. You did a good job. Good boy. Good boy. All right, fam. So we just uh, we just made plans. It was either driving on the road for another six, eight hours, or drive on the road for like two or three hours and stay at like a little town in between uh, the two major areas we wanted to be in. So we opted in for. Slow and low. There's a cool brewery that we saw online that we want to kind of check out. So that's kind of the move right now. We're going to feed brisket. If he'll eat. Maybe just give him a treat. And then we're off to the road. I don't know the name of the town, but I'll definitely keep you guys abreast of the situation. Alright fam. We're off. Kia's all packed up. Brisket, let's see if we can get a little extra action out of him. Um, all right, guys, we're here at uh, the 692 Coffee and Bar. And Adam said that we had to go through the back door. I don't know what's back there. Anyways, think, you taking me to a speakeasy? What are we doing? We can go to the Mill Tavern. I don't even know what this place, well, I don't even know what town we're in. I think it's that. This mano, monotic. Monotic. Welcome to mano, mano or monotic. We out here. I'm gonna get a haircut at the barbershop. Look at that, dude. It's like a cake. It's like a cake pizza. What is going on here? Scrummy scones. Oh my oh, god. That, that's what we call you. I don't want to say. First, I'm having a uh, strawberry milk chocolate scone. Do you know what they call it? What they call beanies in Canada? Beanies? Yeah. Right there. 
Two face. Two face? That is phenomenal. Adam wants me to try his butter. That jam hit. Oh, it's slapped. I'm about to move over. You got, you know, not allowed to stop TikTok. You guys talking TikTok these days. This is one of my dreams is to learn how to make really good sourdough. At the avocado toast one of my dreams is to never eat anything that has that much avocado on it. All right, guys, we just got done. Really cool breakfast. Sourdough. Sourdough bread is one of the things that I want to master in homesteading also because I could eat that for every meal, man. Sandwiches, breakfast, everything. I think you have to start with like, uh, you have to get from somebody like, um, what it, it's like the, the original bat, or, you know, you have to get, um, because people make it, like, they start with, um, what is it called? It's called, like, the... Um, the yeast? The rising the, yeast? No, but you start with, like, a, a piece, and then you add to it, and at each time you take from, like, what you made, like, basically, it gets better the older it is. So you start with, like, um... It's more like the dough? Yeah, the, the, like, you start with the... I'm gonna look it up, and next time we film, I'm going to tell you. But I remember, because my ex's dad used to make sourdough, or biscuits, or he made some kind of crap. But but was it good? Oh yeah, it was phenomenal. Right. Well, you start with like a uh, like a like a godfather of the the bread, and then you keep adding and taking from it, or like saving a piece for next time. That's interesting. That's like a like a cast iron thing too, where you're not supposed to like you're supposed to season it, not clean, like not yeah, yeah. soap and water it. You never soap and water. It. I know. Yeah, you oil it. No, huh? Did you? There you go. All right, fam. If you're ever in Canada, this is the most expensive uh, stop to go at, to be honest with you. Drinks in there. You know, we were getting good drinks for good prices and stuff, man. This is the most expensive. Also, really weird. If you're pumping gas right here, it asks you. I don't know if you saw this, but it wouldn't just let you pump. You had to, like, pick an amount. Oh, before him? Yeah, I was like, I don't know how much I need, bro. Hmm. So I miscalculated. We definitely did not get enough gas. And one of the other ones, yes, yeah, so we finally got the hickory sticks. Wanna open those bad boys up? No, wait. We'll wait. We'll make it special. I just almost said suspension. Suspense. Wait. Su suspense. Suspense. Sus uh, suspicion. No. Of the suspension. Suspicious. Sus su suspense. I think suspense. it's just yeah. suspense. Yeah. It's like biscotti, biscotto. Um, all right, we just uh, we sent a quick note over to the trips to see what their next couple of days are looking at because <clears throat> we're officially in Ontario province and uh, we're slowly making our way over to T City, aka T Money, aka Toronto. We're not saying <coughs> Toronto, we're going to Belleville, then to Toronto. Belleville is for the boys. You hurt my heart and soul sometimes. You really do. Uh, we're going to try to hit a brewery. Um, I'm going to get drunk. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we stopped by Canadian Tire. Got, got some gas. This is the first time I'm seeing. We have a lot of these in, like, major intersections in America. But this is the first time me seeing one. Ma Mallory? Mallory Town? In Roots. It's one of those, like, kind of service... Like, I don't know what to call them. They're like, uh, you know, it's the big places that have like a bunch of food. Like, not so much truck stops, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I, why can't I think of it? Oh, they got a and w a and is everywhere down here. Or up here.
had an I, interesting drink in there, um, but I didn't know what uh, pample mousse was. It was like only se seven carbs, but the flavor was pample mousse. Pample mousse is when they get the mousse and they pample it. Mm -hmm. But you have to let it pample for at least 48 hours before you drink it, or else you get pampoose mm. juice. Sounds like that uh, that thing from Rick and Morty, the little, the, what is it called? The Thimbus or something? I'm going to look it up. Also, guys, we've realized that when we hold doors open for people, nobody says thank you. Is that like a Canadian thing? We thought it was just a Quebecan thing, but we're experiencing that in... Uh, in Ontario too you know they say everything's bigger in Texas but I think everything's bigger in Ontario so I got the scratch ticket there's also a big candy bar that you <laughs> refuse to get Mr. Big well because you can't put it in your crotch there's a Kona over here. look at this guys let's see it let's see how how big it is compared to brisket look at this oh there's a baby why is there a difference in size hold on look at this it's bigger than brisket Listen, it's, listen, little guy. It's not about the scratch. It's about the sniff. <laughs> the wind? <laughs> the wind. It's about the wind. All right, you want to go outside? You want to go for a little walk? All right, guys. Let's see if we win any money. 2022. By the way, it was a plumbus. That's the Rick and Morty thing. A plumbus. You go plumb yourself. How about that? Yeah. So this is the super massive multiplier. I usually scratch them off not in the car. I use my finger, but this one, look, I can win tickets to a Luke Combs concert. Who should I bring? In Canada? No, it's in Nashville. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Who should I bring? Um, I mean, we already know the answer to that. You? And of course. Who else would you bring? I want to see you win a uh, big belt buckle. With a uh, cowboy hat. Completely uncovered three. Win two times. Scratch game one completely. Uncovered three identical symbols. Win two times. Whoa. Scratch game one completely. All right. I don't get it. There's games, and then there's multipliers, and then there's the numbers. The only games I like Scratch. to play is with your heart. All right. Here we go, fam. Let's just do it. We're just going to get right into it. All right, so this one, game one is saying, bow tie, ladybug, car, ring, pot of gold, camera. Two times one, a hundred bucks. Let me uncover three identical. Oh, okay, I got it. Come on, so if you get three identical symbols you can win that thing all right nothing so far on game two all right game three come on baby game three. Oh, two two strawberries three strawberries nope two strawberries we would have been able to win ten thousand dollars i blame adam all right if we had three strawberries but we didn't all right, we got two chips. Can we get a third chip? Third chip, baby. Wow. This, we could have won a thousand bucks. I think I'm doing this right. Uncover three. Yeah, you have to win uncover. You need to win three, three of the same ones. You guys noticed we were getting closer with two here and then one, two, three. Uncover three identical symbols. So we got chip, chip, single, single, necklace, necklace. That didn't work out. All right. Game five. Game five. Scratch, scratch the nine multiplier and 32 numbers completely. Each of the multiplier numbers will have a corresponding one, two, three, 10, 20. Match any one of the multiplier numbers to one of your numbers. Multiply the corresponding prize by the corresponding. Okay. So all we've got to do is match at least one of these numbers with one of these numbers. Okay. Here we go. 35. 30. 32. A lot of 30s here. 39. 24. 
57, 58, 68, 18. All right, fam, you guys ready? Look at this, somebody wrote on this a five. Ooh, so they, suspicious. Very suspicious. Twenty-two, no, no winner. Sixty-six, no winner. Seventeen, no winner. Forty, no winner. Sixty-two, no winner. Fifty-two, no winner. Forty-four, no winner. Fifteen, no winner. Fifty-five, no winner. Fifty-six, come on. Twenty-nine, no winner. Forty-eight, no winner. 43. Did we just help out someone else win 250,000? 31, no winner. 11, no winner. 54, no winner. God, look at that one. 54 is a 250,000. And then if it was like one of the multipliers, 2.5 million. Whew. We'd have to give back a little bit to Canada and buy, buy some land here, right? If we win that much. 61, no winner. What is this one? 18, way over here by itself. Uh, 28, no winner. We're like right next to the winning numbers, man. 63, no winner. 34, no winner. 45, no winner. 46, no winner. Damn it. 30, 30, no way. Oh my. I just got so excited. Did you win five bucks? No, it would have been 50,000 times two so a hundred grand but the way that i was scratching it you couldn't see the top of the six it was like it looked like it was 30 mm -hmm. so we could have won 100 grand here that's why i don't like gambling here All right. 36 no winner 64 no winner 25 no winner damn it 37 51 yeah we just helped someone else become a millionaire. That's okay. We're here to support. Um, you know, hopefully some of this money goes to education. Makes me feel better. 50, no winner. 47, no winner. 27, no winner. What are the odds? They usually have to put the odds on here. I don't know if Canada has to do that or not. All right, so we spent $20 on this. 15, American. Ooh, they don't post the odds. Usually they put, oh, here we go. Approximate overall odds. One out of 3.55. So we had to buy four of these in order to win something. So you gotta spend 80 bucks in order to win something. Or 60 American. So the fact that this is a, a dud, someone else has a better chance of winning the next, the next person that buys it. Yeah, I got one too. You got one of these too? No, I got the. Did you guys catch that? Somebody comment down below. Um, I didn't know what any of that meant. Um, so we'll still keep this just in case. We'll take another look at it in case I messed up. So there's seven minutes of suspense. All right, fam. We, uh, we're here in, what the heck is this town? I think Kingston. We're here in Kingston. And uh, there's Adam. Just thinking how one day he wanted to be a conductor. Those dreams never came true. But that's okay. I was telling everybody, it was always your dream to be a conductor. But those dreams, you have, sometimes you have to pick and choose your dreams. Yeah, I think the conductor's underneath the, uh, underneath the bridge right now. Someone sleeping? Uh, he's doing something. What's going on here? Can we use this in court? Oh, damn it. Taking a little brisket for a quick little walk. We're gonna quiet, we're gonna grab a quick bite to eat. Um, and then this is just a quick stopover in Kingston, Jamaica. Oh, not Kingston, Jamaica. Kingston or Ontario, Canada. Um, and then we're on our way to I keep forgetting the name of the town we're gonna be in. We'll talk about it over a quick meal. We're just grabbing a quick bite. And then we're gonna try to drive through downtown Kingston because it looks really cutie. I wish we had more time uh, to stay here. 
because this seems like a really cool little coastal town. I also, I think there's a fort or a military base somewhere nearby also. Actually, I think that's it. I think, is this it? No. Is that barracks? I don't know. But there is definitely, um, I think I saw it, Fort Henry is over here. Look at this, they got one of those, uh, one of those things. That's interesting. Uh, what are those called, tugboats? No. I forget what they what those are called but a lot of places put like casinos on those because it's technically like on the water all right guys here we are diane's fish shack and smokehouse i can't remember if this was the spot someone told us to check out or if it was a different spot but we're trying this out look at this guys spicy fried rhode island style calamari a little piece of home here in Ontario. Yeah. Oh. No, well, calamari is very Rhode Island. It's uh, the state appetizer. Hmm. Like, yeah. It's the official state appetizer. Mm. All right, fam, check this out. Diane's burger. Adam got Diane's club. Club, yep. Puppy club with a little on top. I think it's spicy. Oh, spicy? No, it is spicy. I gotta try that. I gotta try one more full of that salad dressing then. Oh, it's right here? It's in here? Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm. Oh, super greasy. Mmm. Burger looks good. Florida. I'm losing Florida. Just lock the door, we're like, put away. What do I do, like this? You got a little dot? Alright, this is video. Hold on. Alright, homie, what do we think of Diane's? Oh, Diane's uh, service was phenomenal. Diane's Fish Shack and Smokehouse. One thing that I just learned right now is that this used to be the old capital. Oh, oh, I knew that. I said that. Um, and the then, and then also, brewery is right there. Yeah, Kingston Brewing Company. Oldest it's literally about two businesses down the street. From then, we're going to a brewery right now. Otherwise, we check it out. Also, this is Adam's favorite hotel. The Prince George. Yeah. I like this building right here. That's the old parliament. Mm. That probably was the old pirate. I just made that up. I'm gonna look it up. <clears throat> All right, guys, we gotta hit the road. It's getting dark here. Um, also, we still have like some work to do. We got the Royal Canadian Horse Artillery Brigade Association. Where do you see that at? Right there. Oh, it's a big group. Uh, horse artillery. Yeah. They just strap guns to the horses. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Okay. <laughs> also, we're realizing that a lot of people don't smile here either. I mean, pe people, they don't, I mean, you don't have to smile, but this is everyone. This is men and women. All right, guys, let's give, uh, we got brisket a little treat from inside. Oh, who's the best doggy in the land, huh? Yeah, what do we have here? Oh, damn. We got a whole piece of thick piece of bacon. You better believe it, Jack. Look at this. You don't want to talk to anybody? I'm not going to take it. You can have it. All right, guys. Brisket, baby. Guys, look at this. Diamond Plus. Yes, sir. Look at that free upgrade here with the Junior Suite. Want to pull one of these over so we can hop up? How about we uh, we do we put, push the beds together? Yes, sir. Okay. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Thank God for reward points, huh? Yeah, and free upgrades. So this is uh, one of the newest Hampton Suites. And you guys know me. We always stay at Hampton Inn Suites because it's always really budget friendly. But we've stayed at new ones like this, but we've also stayed at the really old ones and I'm glad that they are updating a lot of them. Maybe we'll film live right here. <laughs> How about this guys? We'll sleep in this bed. And then we'll just, we'll do a 24 hour live. 
I've always wanted to try that. All right, guys, we're at some brewery. What's the name of the brewery? Five Okay. Oh, right here, Myers Creek. We're at Myers Creek Brewing Company. All right, guys, um, if you haven't watched Day 45's live, um, it's a doozy. It's a doozy. Make sure, I think I put in the caption, Thanksgiving beers or something like that. Day 45. I'm here with the with the main man, Brisket. Ah. <laughs> Adam just destroyed all of this McDonald's right here. I gave myself a new nickname, remember? You got yourself a new nickname? What? Two times. Your new nickname? Oh, yeah, it is two times. Except for when you talk about donuts, it's more like 20 times. Damn. You're like, uh, you remember that movie? Um, oh, what's the movie with the sins? Uh, seven. Seven? Mm -hmm. And he seven. goes, what's in the box? That was you earlier. Where's the donut? <laughs> and he actually ran over there, guys, to go uh, confront the worker. What did he say? Oh, you guys forgot it? No, the bag was sitting on the counter. Like the bag that they didn't put. They didn't, so like, oh, that you know, they didn't put, put up the donut. And then he kind of like stopped and looked around and the bag was sitting right on the counter. Horrible. Like it was down on the side where the food, you know, they were packaging it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. like they put the donut in a bag. Yeah. But Adam seems better now. He had his donut. Mm -hmm. He had his nuggies. He had uh, French fries for the first time in my 20 plus odd years being his buddy. Freedom fries. For freedom fries with the Liberty. We had some Liberty steaks also. Brisket is finishing up dinner. He had uh, a couple of chicken nuggets that we took all the breading off because they use better chicken up here in Canada. And I'm um, doing work right now. Got to finish up some work, but we're gonna, but we're gonna end the live right. Oh, the live! Oh my god, we're gonna end the vlog right now. And uh, we're in some little town between Ottawa and Toronto. Where we'll make our way to Toronto tomorrow for Thanksgiving. Um, it looks like right now the top, the top competitor is IHOP. They're the only ones doing a Thanksgiving dinner up here. Um, I'm sure we'll, we'll try to find something different, but push comes to shove. And then maybe we'll do the crumble video tomorrow too. So you guys might get an extra video out of everything. Or we could do the, we could do that as a live too. Kind of hit like a twofer. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, we'll figure it out. But look at our eyes. We're exhausted, fam. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. All right, guys, just kidding. We got some last minute zoomies to get out. Ah, what's up, baby? <laughs> this way. Brisket, this way. Good boy. It's all okay with the fastest baby in the world. Yeah, it's all baby, the baby, the baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait till I can buy him some land. Huh, baby? You can get it all out of your system. You'll have a couple siblings by then, probably. Come on. All right, guys. This will be really when I say goodnight. We both got a nice little bump there. Hey, this way. Good boy. <laughs>